Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Prajapati, and in this video, I will be solving one of the important question of Python, which was asked in the recent interview. So I got this question from the LinkedIn post. So I thought to solve this question right via my way. Okay, so you can see, I mean, we have given one, you know, one list okay a uh, tuple of list we can say right we can we can see over here we have david 46 sam 56 and saga 90 so you can assume this is the student name and this is the student marks okay now we need to identify what is the you know highest i mean who is the student who got a highest marks okay so you know how we can actually solve this question so what i will do first i will create a i will create a function so let's say def f underscore get highest highest score okay and after that what i will do over here i will i will pass here a list okay so let's say i can say input underscore list and how we will understand uh, what we are passing we can you know pass like list here okay now if if len of you know len of this uh, this input list is zero right then i can return like this okay Apart from this, what I will do first, I will find out the maximum marks or highest mark, marks. Okay, so let's say max marks. So what I can do, I can write like this mm, for name comma marks in input list. Correct. And from in C why I have written here name and marks because in this we have two we have two uh, two attribute we can say right so suppose if we have only one attribute David so we will just you know write here name since we have two things so I have written over here name and marks now if you want to change these attributes name you can do it uh, cool now after that what I will do I will just write here I will take here marks because I need marks only and from that I can you know call a max function to get the maximum marks right after that what I can do after that what I can do I can find out the which is what is the you know who is the user who got the maximum I mean who, who got the maximum marks right so I can write here return and here what I can do for same same thing name comma marks in input list okay if marks is equal to is equal to marks is equal to is equal to what marks max underscore marks and I will return here sorry I will return here both the things right name and marks like this now what i'll do i'll quickly just cut it and paste it here and then i will call this function and i will print it also You can see we got this output saga 90 but we do not want the answer in the list so for that what i can do i can put here the asterisk now if i run the same thing 
now you will see we have only Sagar N90. Okay, so this is one of the way, you know, by which we can actually, uh, you know, solve this question. There might be different ways to do the same thing, but I have used this way. Now, if you want to also specify, uh, you know, what is the, like, we have a specify what is the, you know, this variable, what does it mean, right? What type of data type it is, it, it is going to take. So it is taking list, right? So like that also, we can put here the return type of this function. So like this we can do okay and now if i run this again now it will give the same answer okay so again 90. so i hope that you have understood this concept and moreover to this i have launched a multiple courses on the website python course i have launched i have launched a databricks course PySpark interview questions like everything is available on my website as well as on my youtube channel also so you can just you know uh, go over there and see if you like to you know invest invest your time then i would suggest to go and check out my courses and enroll in a single course for now and if you when you you know when you like the course then enroll in the you know other courses also so chalo, we'll meet you in the next lecture